Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the soda can roll. This is a really easy and fun experiment. You probably have most of the supplies in your house. If not, it doesn't cost that much. So what you need for the experiment is a soda can, an empty one. It could be any kind of soda can, aluminum. Um, you need a balloon, blow it up, and I'm using a fiber cloth, but you could use uh, the carpet, uh, your, aunt, your pet, your dog, anything to get static electricity going. And then I'll show you next on um, how to set the experiment up and the experiment itself. So let's go. So you're going to take your balloon um, and you're going to start rubbing it on the cloth so it gets charged up. I usually do it around 20 to 30 seconds. Now take your charged balloon and put it right in front of the can and here it goes. It's going to follow. That was going pretty quick. It's going to follow the balloon in whatever the side you put it on and it will be attracted to it. So the science behind this is, so what we're seeing here is a property known as electrostatic induction. Left to its own devices, the can has no net charge, right? It's an equal number of positive and negative charges distributed evenly through the aluminum and the material of the can. Because the aluminum can is an electrical conductor, some of those charges can be free to move around and act upon the outside force. When the negatively charged balloon is brought near the can, the electrostatic force, that is the negative charges, exerts affects the atoms in the can. Some of those are free electrons, also carrying negative charge, are repelled and moved to the far side of the can. This leaves the side of the can nearest to the balloon with a net positive charge, which is now attracted to the balloon. And the whole can, um, being lightweight, can move very quickly uh, following the balloon. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. It really does help my channel. And I tried one more after this where I tried to do two cans at a time and um, it just actually just failed. Um, I could only get one can to go. So anyway, thanks a lot and I'll be posting another video shortly.